Zimbabweans have got themselves to blame. They can go anywhere and say what they want to say. They are part of us. They are part of Africa. But the problem of Zimbabwe can only be solved by the people of Zimbabwe. We can only give them support and solidarity support. But the Zimbabwean youth must stand up. This thing of just being scared of old men who can't even walk and you are scared of them instead of engaging in a rebellion against those people. The civil rights movement is being suppressed in Zimbabwe. But equally, the votes are being stolen in daylight. Chamisa has won elections there many times. Anyone you can go to them there, they tell you, this guy has won. But who runs the elections? The army. They go into the villages, in the voting stations in the villages, they do as they wish, and no one is being held accountable. We don't agree with the sanctions against Zimbabwe because sanctions only serve to make the poor of the poorest suffer. When you sanction, the political elite has got access to resources. It can always import anything they want to import, and they will continue with their lives. But the poor of the poorest are going to die. That's why we call for the lifting of sanctions in Zimbabwe. But the youth of Zimbabwe must stand up. There is no Malema who is going to come from here and go and liberate Harare. Harare has to stand up for Malema to go there and say, I'm now putting my body on the picket lines in support of the people of Zimbabwe. The Zimbabwean youth must rise because that nonsense will never come to an end as long as there is no unity of purpose against the tyranny, against the suppression of political wishes of Zimbabweans. So, ourselves at Pan-African Parliament, at the AU, at SADC, we have to have a political will to speak for the people of Zimbabwe. When it comes from us, it will have more weight than when it comes from Europe. Why? Because we are brothers and sisters. They will know it's a friendly fire. But SADC, AU, South Africa, they are failing Zimbabweans because it's a brusque up. It's friendship. It's brother, brother. Brother, brother, leader. Brother, brother. When they meet, brother, 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 brother. <laughs> and then when you ask what is the resolution, no one has taken any resolution. <laughs> so you need a clear position from SADC which gives the timelines that by this time, this should have happened. But otherwise, Mnangangwa is going to come back. And he's got nothing to offer at all. So, Chiwenga is done. He will not be anything. They used him. Chiwenga is no longer the most powerful military man in Zimbabwe now. They have weakened him. So, only the power of the youth of Zimbabwe can change the political status quo. And the Zimbabweans have to know that we are with them. Including Zimbabweans who are here in South Africa. When there are elections, get into buses and go home. <laughs> go and fight from there. Because the humiliation that you are being subjected to here in South Africa is if you don't have your own homes. It's high time that you take it upon yourself. And organize yourselves. EFF is there. We can even sponsor buses. <laughs> Ora, go and vote. If you are here to study, you can come back, study, no problem, but go and vote. <laughs> so that we know that at least you are also doing something. The humiliation and the violation that Zimbabweans are being subjected to. Highly educated individuals and human beings. It's not what a human being must be subjected to. But it starts with you as Zimbabweans to fight for the freedom and the self-determination of the people of Zimbabwe.